Freeman Storf with the Reby Homes team, and we're here again with our friend and general contractor, Javier Zuluaga, and he's with HRR Contracting. We love having you uh, share some tips with our family and friends. What's going on in today's market? You and I both know about this. Everybody wants to move in and everything be just exactly the way they want it. Right. And like they do on HGTV. On HGTV, and we got really low inventory, low, low inventory. So when you have low inventory and multiple offers and everybody trying to go for the same house, an option to consider is to make the floor plan the way that you would like it to be. So we're gonna take a look at what it will take, how long and how much, to open this up into the family room and the kitchen area and make it an open concept. It's not that, uh, it's not that bad. It's not a structural wall. It's just separating these two, two, two walls and so, Demo this takes about a day, and then electrical, another half day, then you frame it, put it back together. Luckily, I talked to the owner, she has some pieces left over for tile. So if you worked consistently, you probably get it done in, in four days. Uh, but there's one thing here to consider. When we knock this down, and the owner did say she had the actual paint, the exact paint. If you don't have the exact paint and you touch up, you fix the drywall ceiling up there, what happens is, if you just touch that up, you'll notice that there was something there before, so you have to paint the whole ceiling. So as long as you have the paint that was used at the right. ceiling, we can just touch it up. If not, then while we have everything open, might as well just paint the entire ceiling. Yeah, good tip. If you ever do a project like this, don't short circuit it and try and patch it. You'll be glad you did the whole thing. I know when buyers come in, they think it's a huge, huge job. They look at this wall and say, how do we know it's not load bearing? How do they figure that out? How do they ensure that that's not the case? Well. As a contractor, we can tell the engineering here, it's, and it's uh, the way it's been engineered. It's not holding any any uh, structural bearing there. Okay. So the way the trusses in, run. Right, the trusses. So then they come in with this really cool tool. They saw it off. They cut everything out, and yep. then you patch the ceiling, you patch the floor, and you move the electrical. Exactly. Just like that, and then Pretty you've much. got a beautiful open floor plan. Mm -hmm. Cost. Cost that could run twenty five hundred about approximately right and with multiple offers that we're seeing where we've got five ten fifteen thousand dollars oh bid up bid up a twenty five hundred dollar remodel to get you the floor plan that you want might be a better option long term and the right house so as always thank you Javier thank you. um this house we're going to share this video with the buyers that are interested and we'll just see if they actually take that wall down yeah, thank you. Until next time.